people don't talk a whole lot about um, HTML style. I mean, when they do, they talk about the way that the page is viewed and what it looks like when it is. They don't talk a lot about what the HTML looks like uh, within the document itself. Um, and I'm going to take a moment to talk about that. Notice that this is this has code coloring so we can see things and that makes it a little easier to see what's going on here. Um, if we uh, do the standard view page source, which you can do for any page on the web, um, in this case Chrome does do some coloring as well, but not all of them do. And this is the way most people will end up looking at your site um, if they do look at the HTML. Why do we even care? Well, because some other designer at some point is going to have to deal with editing this HTML. And frankly, that might be you at some point. You might forget what it is that you did, and it's very easy to forget what you did. So there's a couple of things you could do to make this easier. One that we've already talked about is indenting. I prefer um, indenting by two spaces. I may for each layer of the DOM of the of the of the tree that makes up the HTML, um, with the exception of I just keep head and body flush to the left because it's easy, <laughs> and so um, everything else gets indented if it's an indent. Um, sometimes I close tags, especially span tags. We haven't talked much about that yet, but we will eventually. Um, on the same line, um, for uh, block tags, I usually do multiple lines. But for things like p, I might do it. I might close it in the back here rather than indenting. Uh, my font here is very large, but I generally try to avoid this kind of. Um, having things on multiple lines like that. It's just so easy to do um, this, and I'll indent this one a little because it's actually a continuation of the same tag. Um, even that's having having trouble fitting, so I can always do something like this. And so that gets that whole tag on one line. And then because the A is out there, I would probably close it here. Anyway, it, it, how you actually do this doesn't really matter. Oops, I made a mistake here. I have OL that therefore all of these which are inside that OL really ought to be indented so that I can keep track of this sort of thing so what does this mean it means that I can look through and I can kind of see where things end but as you can see with the body that starts way up here and uh, the body ending way down here later on we'll talk about divs where you can have hundreds of divs on a page and you're not quite clear where things are opening and closing that's one place, and I'll mention it then, where you might want to use a comment. There are other places, too. For example, I might just want to kind of have some information for myself for later on, where I say, uh, this page is a demo page for our class. It, um, then maybe I could say something like, uh, last edited uh, 5 May. 2011, and then I would change that. Um, edited by Alex Halivay, um, etc. So I might provide some just kind of information for someone reading the code so they know what's going on. What's important here to note is we have a funny tag here, the comment tag, which is open tag bang, which is an exclamation point, bang, dash, dash and then down here to close it it's dash dash close um, so this is a very useful way of writing notes to yourself this gets completely ignored by the browser when it's getting when it's parsing a page um, it just kind of uh, skips over anything that has the, these bits on them and so it's a good way to kind of leave notes to yourself or ask questions uh, for the assignments for the class I ask you to kind of um, leave comments in your code uh, not so much for the HTML more for the PHP but in general this is a great thing to do to let yourself know later on what something's about um, or to let others know what it is you're doing on a page great